Imagine a plane so fast it could fly from New York to Los Angeles in under 12 minutes, outmaneuver any defense system, and revolutionize global security. Welcome to the age of the SR-72, the hypersonic marvel set to dominate the skies. For decades, the SR-71 Blackbird was the pinnacle of aviation, a Cold War icon unmatched in speed and stealth. But when it retired in 1988, a gap was left in the skies. Enter the SR-72, the son of Blackbird, promising to go faster, smarter, and stealthier. Developed by Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division, this aircraft is more than just a technological leap. It's a symbol of future warfare and global peacekeeping. Today, we'll dive into its groundbreaking capabilities, its role in modern conflicts, and its potential to change the geopolitical landscape. When the SR-71 retired, the U.S. Air Force lacked an aircraft capable of gathering intelligence at unprecedented speeds. Stealth was the dominant strategy, but experts realized speed, outrunning defenses, could be the ultimate game changer. This vision birthed the SR-72. Announced in 2013, the SR-72 aims to achieve hypersonic speeds of Mach 6. At these velocities, it would be virtually untouchable, completing missions before enemies could react. Unlike traditional jets, the SR-72 uses a revolutionary propulsion system called the turbine-based combined cycle engine which merges turbine engines for subsonic speeds with scramjets for hypersonic flight. NASA and Aerojet Rocketdyne have collaborated with Lockheed Martin to overcome engineering challenges, such as handling the extreme heat generated at Mach 6. The SR-72 isn't just about speed, it's designed for reconnaissance and strike capabilities, making it a versatile tool for future conflicts. Armed with hypersonic missiles, it could penetrate heavily defended airspaces with ease. Its unique materials, including advanced composites and ceramics, allow it to endure the intense conditions of high-speed flight. But beyond the technology lies its geopolitical impact. The SR-72 could serve as a peacekeeping tool in volatile regions like the Middle East. With its ability to strike quickly and provide real-time intelligence, it might deter hostile actions and promote stability. Under the leadership of influential figures like President Donald Trump, such advancements could redefine military strategies and diplomatic negotiations. However, challenges remain as the development of the SR-72 ventures into uncharted territory in aviation technology. One of the most significant issues stems from its defining characteristic, speed. While hypersonic speeds of Mach 6 offer unparalleled advantages in terms of mission execution and evasion, they also generate immense heat. This heat creates a prominent infrared IR signature, essentially a glowing beacon that could make the aircraft detectable by advanced enemy tracking systems. At these speeds, the friction between the aircraft's surface and the atmosphere generates temperatures that can exceed 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The intense heat not only challenges the structural integrity of the aircraft, but also makes it easier for heat-seeking technologies, such as IR-guided missiles, to lock on to the SR-72. Engineers face a monumental task in minimizing this vulnerability to ensure the aircraft's survival in high-threat environments. To address this issue, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works and its collaborators are exploring advanced materials and coatings capable of dissipating heat and reducing the IR signature. Ceramic composites in high-temperature alloys are at the forefront of these efforts, providing a thermal barrier to protect the aircraft's internal systems. Another potential solution involves integrating heat management systems that redirect the heat generated by friction and propulsion to reduce its detectability. Despite these innovations, the IR signature challenge remains a daunting hurdle that could limit the SR-72's operational effectiveness in certain scenarios. Another major challenge lies in integrating advanced artificial intelligence, AI systems for autonomous operations. At hypersonic speeds, human pilots face limitations in reaction times and decision-making. A delay of even a fraction of a second could lead to catastrophic outcomes, as the aircraft would traverse vast distances within moments. For example, at Mach 6, the SR-72 could cover a mile in less than a second, meaning real-time adjustments to its trajectory speed and mission objectives must be made instantly. To overcome this, engineers are developing AI systems capable of autonomous navigation, threat detection, and target engagement. 
The integration of AI is not just a technological challenge, but also a philosophical and ethical one. Autonomous systems raise questions about the role of human oversight in missions that could involve lethal force. Developing AI that is reliable, ethical, and capable of adapting to unforeseen scenarios is a complex endeavor. The AI must be advanced enough to analyze vast streams of data in real time, predict potential threats, and execute evasive maneuvers or countermeasures, all while maintaining mission objectives. Furthermore, these systems must operate seamlessly with ground-based control and other allied systems, ensuring interoperability and reducing the risks of communication failures. Engineers are also grappling with creating an AI that can withstand the extreme conditions of hypersonic flight. High speeds, intense vibrations, and rapid temperature fluctuations put immense strain on onboard electronics. This necessitates robust and compact systems that can function flawlessly under such conditions. Testing and refining these systems is a meticulous process, requiring extensive simulations and real-world trials to ensure they can handle the demands of combat scenarios. The development of these AI systems could set the SR-72 apart from anything in the skies today. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-71, which relied entirely on human pilots, the SR-72 may operate in either manned or fully autonomous modes. This flexibility could redefine the role of reconnaissance and strike aircraft in modern warfare. For instance, autonomous capabilities would allow the SR-72 to undertake missions deemed too dangerous for human pilots, such as penetrating heavily defended airspaces or engaging in high-risk surveillance. In summary, while the SR-72 promises to revolutionize aviation, these challenges highlight the complexities of creating a hypersonic aircraft capable of balancing speed, stealth, and autonomy. Overcoming the IR signature issue and perfecting AI systems are pivotal to its success. Yet these obstacles also underscore the ambitious nature of this project, one that pushes the boundaries of what is possible in aerospace engineering. The SR-72 isn't just a successor to the SR-71. It's a bold leap into the future of aviation and global security. Combining speed, intelligence, and power, this hypersonic marvel could reshape the skies and the battlefield. As Lockheed Martin continues to refine its design, the world watches eagerly. Could the SR-72 truly usher in an era of peace through power? Or is it just another piece in the complex puzzle of global dominance? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the future of aviation and technology. See you in the next video.